Grades of rare platinum group metals have been found at a mining site near Broken Hill. The results are come from a recent drilling at Impact Minerals Red Hill project in the far west of New South Wales. The company's managing director, Mike Jones, is speaking with our reporter, Sheree von Hirschner. The uh, results that we've got are actually the highest recorded PGE grades, uh, platinum group element grades uh, ever seen in Australia, which uh, is really a, a spectacular result for us. And uh, not only that, it also has quite significant uh, nickel and copper uh, as well. And, uh, and so in terms of the dollar value per ore that we've uh, intersected, it's uh, got a very high value. And uh, for any exploration program going forward, that's a, a hugely a significant feature for us. So uh, it's been uh, you know, pretty exciting times over the, uh, over the past week. Now, last time or recently when we've spoken, you mentioned that you've uh, already had come across some of the highest uh, platinum metal results out of Red Hill. So how much more significant are these ones? Well, it, uh, it sounds like a ridiculous number, but uh, they're almost ten times better than the previous best in the set. So uh, that's, uh, that's really um, you know, how outstanding they are. And uh, our challenge now is to really see uh, you know, if, uh, if that extends for any significant distance and uh, what the controls are. So that's uh, really what we're up to right now. Thinking of, of earnings from, from this, uh, potential earnings from the Red Hill site, in terms of what you've found so far and, and what you can get on the market for these metals, what kind of prices are we looking at? Well, look, if we were lucky to find uh, more of this material, its, it's value is about $10,000 a tonne. But uh, I, before we get too carried away, as I've said uh, many times before, it is uh, early stage for us. Commonly high-grade features like this uh, might not have uh, a large uh, trend extent or it might not go down very far. But obviously, if that sort of value perhaps wouldn't need much to, uh, you know, to really uh, give any sort of development a kick along. And as you said, there's more to search for, and you've sort of just scratched the surface, so to speak. And th those zones that you've been looking at are, are rather narrow. I understand they're rather narrow. Where to next in terms of your exploration there? So we've uh, had the rig on hold for uh, for about a week. Uh, we've been looking uh, in some detail at the diamond drill core that's come out of the ground. And in fact, I've just come from the yard where all of that is kept, and uh, we've made some really great uh, breakthroughs in understanding the, uh, the geometry and the potential controls on it. So what we're going to do now is look to uh, design the follow-up uh, drill hole. Uh, we will probably start drilling uh, in the next uh, day or so, uh, first on a, a slightly different target because we're still putting together the information uh, from the main Red Hill zone of interest and then get back to Red Hill probably sometime over the weekend and uh, early into next week. Impact Minerals Managing Director Mike Jones speaking with Sheree Von Hirsch.